There are a lot of choices when it comes to pre-emerge herbicides. We're going to start today by talking about what we would call straight goods, single mode of action products. And we're sticking just to the pre-emerge herbicides here for corn. These are so important because if you get a good start to your weed control program, it's a lot easier all the rest of the year. When it comes to corn, the weeds that we're most concerned about are normally the grass type weeds. So we've got herbicides that are selective to kill those grasses, but not harm the grass that we want to keep out in the field, corn. So we look at the group 15 products like Harness, Surpass, Dual, Outlook, and Zidua. Darren mentioned grass control with the group 15s. These five products are all excellent on grass if you use the full rate. They also have some activity on what we call small seeded broadleaves. That would be things like the pigweed species, everything from water hemp to palmer amaranth, also lamb's quarters, ragweed, and even some activity on kochia and Russian thistle. In conventional corn especially, we like to see a full rate of these products used. Now, when we talk about Roundup Ready or Liberty Link corn, well, in those cases, you've got Roundup or Liberty that can help you with grass escapes, but in conventional corn, you don't have a lot of options outside of Accent Q, which costs a little bit of money, and you really need weeds to be very small for it to be highly effective. So we like to use the full rates, as I mentioned, in front of conventional corn. They could be used in front of Roundup or Liberty corn as well. The great thing about these five group 15s is they can be used in no-till or conventional till. They can be used very early pre-emerge, or for that matter, even in the fall. They can be used pre-plant incorporated. They can be used after you've planted the corn, but before the corn emerges. They can be used early post-emerge. They are very, very flexible products. But the thing you've got to understand with all five of them is they are not going to control any weeds that are up. They have no burn down activity. They only have that residual control, the soil activity. So what it's gonna take is some moisture to get them activated. Now the question is how much moisture does it take and how long are they going to last and provide good weed control? Using full rates of these products will typically get you up to crop canopy, which once, once that crop is put its canopy out over the rows, we don't see a whole lot of late weed emergence, especially not from some of these annual grasses. So if we can do a good job that way, that's awesome, but we gotta have the, the moisture to get it going. In many dry parts of the country, farmers will say, well, if I put it out there at planting, I don't know if I'm gonna get a rain or not, and I totally agree with you. I like to see these products either tilled into the top inch or two of soil, or put out even earlier in the spring before planting to give more time to get some rain on them. All right, the whole thing is, Darren said these should get you to crop canopy. Yes and no, I, I, I just wanna stress to you this. If you put them out way in advance and you have delayed planting for some reason, so the herbicide is working, killing some weeds, yet you have no crop growing in the field, the odds are it's not going to make it all the way to crop canopy. What we're after here, and I mentioned fall too, if you wanted to spray these products in the fall, you could, but you'd have to spray very late in the fall and you'd have to say, I am absolutely, as soon as the ground thaws, I'm planting the corn then you should be able to make it to crop canopy. So just make sure you don't get this herbicide, these herbicides out way too early. All right, Brian, there is another product that we should be talking about, Balance Flex. When I think about other options you have for pre-emerge straight goods, this is probably one of the more popular ones. It's an HPPD family product. And I realize there are a lot of HPPDs that are gonna be considered for use post-emerge, straight goods like Callisto, Lotus, Impact, Armazon, or combination products that we'll talk about in a little bit. I like Balance Flex a lot for broadleaf control in terms of grass control. It's maybe 50% in most cases. Well, Balance Flex is actually pretty good on woolly cup grass. It's not horrible on a lot of the foxtail species, but to Darren's point, yes, at a minimum, I'd say 50%. That's kind of what we might look at. You're just gonna do a lot better if grass is your target by using a group 15. So that's a recap of the straight goods that are most commonly used in front of corn, looking at the Group 15 products and also looking at Balance Flex, which is an HPPD. We're going to talk about the combinations of those in a little bit because you may want to use a combination product to try to control our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 